going back a bit to Blood Brothers, the documentary series which you made with SBS for the in International Year of Indigenous People in 1993, and which deals once again with the history of racism in Australia. This series was also a collaborative effort. Were there any particular issues which emerged out of your collaboration with Ned Lander in, say, Broken English? Um, look, I think the whole question about collaboration and rights to storytelling and, you know, those sort of territories that people pull up are complex. Um, I used to think, yes, certainly that, well, certainly up until the 80s, the only films that were made about Aboriginal people were by non-Aboriginal people. Yeah. And Aboriginal people were trying to get a bit of um, participation in that or control of that. And a lot of the images that had been made of Indigenous people were stereotypical fantasies, you know. Um, so it was very important for Indigenous people to intervene in that process to have some sort of self-representation. Um, that has changed significantly. In the last 20 years, Indigenous people are now making most of the drama, most of the documentaries themselves. Um, and non-Indigenous filmmakers consider that those issues before they go into making films on Indigenous peoples, they'll either employ Indigenous people as consultants or they'll employ them in key creative roles or they'll, you know, uh, film agencies now have Indigenous assessors on all their projects. So the situation has changed significantly since then. I've also changed my attitude into it that I think that one it's a question of economics like access so if all the non-Aboriginal people are taking all the mm. making all the documentaries mm. there's no room for Indigenous people to participate that's an economical mm. sort of access and equity question I mean the other question is about self-representation whether they're making films appropriately but I've sort of come down to the fact that well now you know a lot of different people make indigenous films and some people make you know good films and some people make yeah, bad yeah. films and it's the sort of person you are and how you approach it i mean someone like john hughes ned lander trevor graham are all really good filmmakers yeah. and they make good films and they take a good appropriate cultural you know approach when they do it but then we you know we've got a lot of features at the moment that are about to come out, Deadly Anna, um, Rabbit Proof Fence, yes. The Tracker, yes. that have all been made by non-Indigenous filmmakers and we'll see, you know, what the outcome oh, of that yeah. is. Yeah. But certainly there is a, still a resentment amongst Indigenous filmmakers and certainly myself about uh, big Indigenous stories like Pemawoy, Windradine, the Benelong stories, um, Capricornia, you know, Indigenous works that are not being offered to Indigenous filmmakers, Indigenous directors, and that's really annoying <laughs> and continues to be. But, you know, especially when you've already had a history of getting box office and a track record and stuff like that. So, so there is still resentment towards um, the bigger budget projects um, not, you know, participate, you know, not engaging with Indigenous directors. Yeah. And that'll continue until Indigenous directors get more, more of a reputation and profile, I think.